you want to, I, I mean, how, how much longer do you want to go? Do you want me to respond? Do you respond? Do you respond? Uh, respond or how are we going to do it? Um, I think we could just move to closing statements now. Okay. Um, well, uh, I, I thought that I was, I was going to get a chance to respond last, then close, and then you were going to close. Okay. Why exactly do you get that? Um, the reason I was asking is because you, you were afforded the ability to open and close. And well, you sort of wanted me to to open. Because well, I said I didn't, I didn't the, mind. Yeah, and so I, I wouldn't. I didn't want to forfeit anything else. But I, I opened because you said you sort of wanted me to. Suggesting because earlier uh, I uh, you wanted a two minute rebuttal and then you started again. You talked two minutes. So. Yeah, I think that you'd be getting an extra speech, you know, session there, and so. Yeah, that even though you got an, an extra session earlier. Well, that was only because you sort of wanted me to. I, I, okay. if you, if oh, you, you don't agree with it, that's fine. That's fine. Okay. I mean, I have no problem. Okay. I have no problem. So do you want to go into closing already, or do you want? How about we do one more two minute and then we go into closing? I guess I, I can two minutes. You can respond and then we can close. That's fine. Okay. All right. Uh, I guess once more we'll go right back to Robert Bellman and the fact that uh, he goes completely against everything you're saying. Can't deal with what he, Robert Bellman says. And this is uh, how does three indeed speaks of a person being a heretic after an authority admonishes him. As such, the only usage of the term heretic. In the New Testament, it's completely abuse taken out of context by you. You can't deal with it. You abuse Bellman by misunderstanding that he supports a literal reading of Titus three. And indeed, I don't even need to. Uh, I don't even need to read what Robert Bellman says. He basically uh, agrees with what Titus three said, and um, he points out uh, Saint Paul's usage of Titus three and Titus three, the literal reading of it, uh, basically tells us a clear understanding of the text is that one is indeed a heretic after being admonished or warned twice, you know, many times, whatever uh, form you want to use. And as such, you say the popes have been aware of uh, Vatican I and always teaching that they, uh, they completely go against the teachings. I completely disagree. I don't think that they've made any decrees in which they, uh, they deny the Catholic faith or they deny dogmatic teaching. I think your uh, you're reading into what they say definitely does, but then again, you've been shown as an incompetent exegy of the biblical text and the historical um tradition in the church. Uh, I think until you can actually deal with Titus 3 and the other passages, passages that I've presented, I think you can quote all the doctors of the church until you're blue in the face, and until you actually deal with the text and uh, acknowledge the fact that you've ignorantly executed your passages over and over, you're going to be going around in circles continuously until you, I guess, until you realize that you're in error, which you won't. And as such, I can only say that there's nothing that I can do that's going to convince you unless you can convince, unless you convince yourself by understanding the biblical mandate of what a heretic really is. And as such, you have not proven anything today. Okay. Uh, response that uh, you, you said that he is saying that after an admonishment. So you blatantly misquoted St. Robert Bell. I mean, you said he's saying that he is deposed and becomes a heretic after an admonishment. That is a lie. You just misrepresented the text. Anyone can hear the the recording. He doesn't say that. He says he says that is after showing himself to be manifestly obstinate. So you prove yourself to be a liar. He didn't say after an admonishment. He said showing himself to be manifestly obstinate as they have. So you don't know what you're talking about. And you're the one that said it's ridiculous to call prophets uh, those who are in the New Testament era outside of the first century. When that is completely absurd. You're the one that said that the Council of Trent declares that this is my body, this is my blood, is all you need for consecration. When anyone who knows anything about that issue knows it didn't make any statement on that point. So you show your own profound ignorance and dangerous ignorance because you're saying this totally refutes our argument against the new mass. When you're clueless on the topic. And so bad will is really a sad thing, but uh, we've seen it throughout history. And uh, it's being exhibited once again here. Yeah, they don't deny any dogmas. Meanwhile, they're proving agreements, such as the Joint Declaration with the Lutherans on justification, which says that the Council of Trent no longer applies to the Lutheran teaching, and that the remaining differences are no longer the occasion for doctrinal condemnations. We have Benedict XVI admitting that Vatican II's teaching on religious liberty contradicts the authoritative teaching of Pope Pius IX. We have Cardinal, quote, Casper, admitting your authority, your, uh, the head of the, quote, Pontifical Council for Christian admitting that the traditional teaching on converting non-Catholics has been abandoned. But no, nothing's proven. No, it's not proven to a bad-willed liar. No, just like the Protestants who can hear 
countless scriptures proving that man is not justified by faith alone. And they'll never believe, because they're of bad will, they're of Satan. And just like Polycarp said to Saint, uh, to Marsh, uh, two minutes? Yeah. Okay, so, uh, closing statements? Hello? Okay. How, how, how about, what, seven minutes, eight minutes? So what do you want, seven minutes for closings? Uh, seven minutes is fine, that's fine, and I guess, uh, you can go, uh, seven minutes right afterwards. Yeah, and then that's it. And that's it, yeah. Okay. Okay, start now.